in the time of Lapland where, where the Nazis were there destroying everything. It felt really, really good the idea because basically they are the most iconic villains you can have in a film. Finnish commander lost his home and his family in the war. He became a one-man death squad. Uh, well, nice speaking with you. Congratulations on your film, riveting film, from start to finish. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you explain what is it? Sisu? Is that how you pronounce it? Sisu. Yes. Sisu. It means. Uh, well, tell us what it means. What the what the title means and how it refers to your lead. Well, that's the reason I made the film because it's hard to explain, and uh, so you everyone just have to see Sisu to know what Sisu means, in my opinion. Well, it does mean I looked it up. It does mean determination, and your lead character he is determined. <laughs> he is in the face of Nazis. Yeah, he's the he's like the. Uh, how do you explain that in English? But he is basically Sisu. The the man is Sisu itself in a way. Now tell me what it was like shooting this film. You have the whole desert, or you have the desert. You have the open field to kind of use as your canvas. Um, so was it a challenge, or was it easier because you have this open um, canvas? Uh, of course, it was hard to get everybody and everything to that place because it's very far away uh, and, a, and a difficult place to access anyway. But uh, I love being in, in places that you don't have that much there, like from the beginning, that you can bring everything in and everything you bring is for the movie. and. Uh, it's I don't know. It, it feels like starting from a like a new page of like you can just build your own world to this place, and having that um, nice and spectacular lands landscape all around you, it, it, I think it really sets the tone really well. And you add explosions. I mean, there's a lot of. Um... Um, action in this movie and special effects. So did you do practical uh, and a mix, enhance it with CGI? How did you how did you work on that end? Yeah, we had a lot of practical effects and uh, and a lot of VFX also. Uh, it's a, it's I tried to get like the best of both worlds in a way uh, for the sequences, but sometimes of course you are forced to do things with CGI, especially in the end part of the movie, because it would be pretty, pretty hard to make that plane sequ sequence for real. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want, you don't want to go that, that real, that practical. <laughs> um, so I see you have Rambo in the background. Are you a fan of, uh, of that franchise? And I mean, this guy, he's, he's relentless, kind of like Rambo. He doesn't stop, right? Nothing will stop him. Yeah, that's that's probably the biggest influence uh, for Sisu, and me being a filmmaker is first blood. And uh, the lead, your is it Yorma? Yorma, yes. Yorma, Tamia, Tamila, you've worked with him before. Yeah, I've worked him with him uh, many occasions. Basically, almost all my short films, also, but but with all my feature films, definitely. Now, I'm not familiar with this work. Is he, um, has he done a lot of action or was this his first action film or he's a veteran of it? It's his first action film, film because in Finland, uh, we don't have a tradition of making action films at all. Uh, so many people have been laughing at me when I was younger that I wanted to make an action film because 
it 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 felt like impossible at times, but I'm glad to be here now. And it, I mean, it translates really well. You can barely notice that, you know, it's a foreign film because you don't realize it because it's just so good. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is based on um, silence, right? Because he's he has such an intensity that you don't really need words. Yeah, that 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 is a big deal for me to make this kind of silent main character for for the film, uh, and uh, I, I think it. It really helps of making making cinematic uh, storytelling because, well, and I, I actually I was thinking about it. I think it's easier to make a film without dialogue when when you have done your homework with the script uh, really well. It's easier just to shoot the situations without dialogue, and because for me as a director, I think. It might be the most challenging uh, scenes might be like a big dialogue scenes uh, to make them work like really well, mm. because that that is always a struggle. You can't predict what's going to happen. Uh, so I think it's easier to do things without dialogue if you know what you are doing beforehand. Um, and the villain, he plays a Nazi uh, commander. Um... Axel Henny, um, he, he's very good as a villain. Uh, American audiences might know him from the the Martian. He plays mm -hmm. a good guy. He plays a good guy there. So <laughs> he has versatility, right? Yeah, he, he definitely has. He's a great guy from Norway, and he immediately understood where I was coming with the script, and uh, he was really easy to work with. And uh, we we still speak even every day, almost every day. At phone, uh, with all the things that uh, what's going on with Sisu, and uh, we became friends during the shoot. And uh, recently, we've had the Nazis kind of the bad guys, and you know we take joy in get them getting them getting blown up and beat up, right? So, what was the, your influence in in that aspect? Well, I don't know where the Nazis came from. Might be. Might be something to do with with Indiana Jones or something, but uh, I I felt really like when I had the idea of of uh, having this gold gold treasure in in the time of Lapland where where the Nazis were they destroying everything. It felt really really good the idea because basically they are the most iconic villains you can have in a film. And they are fun to kill. <laughs> and they deserve to be killed, that's for sure. Um, yeah. I mean, we are talking about humans, but we're talking fiction here. Um, yeah. So it sounds like you're, you're a huge fan of the movies. I love that. Well, I am. Uh, I don't know. There's nothing better than see a good movie. <laughs> well, what was your first film as a kid that you said, I want to do that? I think it was E.T. I was seven years old. Uh, I was just starting first grade, and we went to the small movie theater. And my friend, he he could read, I couldn't, so he was translating me the subtitles of, <laughs> of the film. But I was blown away with that film. So, like you said, action films aren't the norm um, in Finland. So. What was the biggest challenge for you um, in making this film? I don't know, uh, because when the script was done, it was so easily financed. It, it was, everything happened really quickly. Everyone loved the script and uh, everyone said basically yes. Uh, so the financing was a really easy thing to do, but I don't know. The biggest struggle probably was to get everything into the place where, where I wanted to shoot because it's far away. Yeah, it's probably the ideal uh, a script when you're looking at it. You know, it's action. And I mean, like you said, it is expensive taking them there. But as far as like you having an open canvas, I'm sure financiers saw a potential right there and uh, it paid off. So congratulations. Thank you.
really good film. I hope a lot of people check it out in the movie theaters. Well, me too. Uh, <laughs> spread the word, please. <laughs> we will. We'll help in that department. <laughs> <laughs>